What's up guys, Gamers out and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2021 and for yet another episode of our Pro Cyclist Save. Today's episode is a big one. That's a lie. We're just going to do the Vuelta Burgos today. Uh, our first and only race of preparation ahead of the Vuelta. Short episode, I know. There's been very few episodes recently. I just work is, I mean work. School is killing me. It, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, but I should hopefully have some free time-ish in the next week or so, right? There's, there's something called holidays in France. Uh, so hopefully I'll try and maximize it so I can record the entire world time like a day. And then you'll have contact, contact, um, content, sorry, for the next uh, like two weeks. Uh, but yet again, apologies for the lack of uploads. Um, but yeah, today Vuelta Burgos, five stages. We're going to start with uh, Burgos Forum Evolution. Uh, Burgos El Castillo, then Oña Belorano, then Ojo Guayana, Pico Blanco, Borregas Naval, Ciudad Romana de Clunia, and finally Comunero de Revenga, Lagunas de Neila. Should be fun. Quick fun race. We've got 40 wins. Comes the beginning of this Spanish race. Could we end up on 43? Well, that's the aim. All right, and we're on the way for uh, the first stage of the Vuelta a Burgos. It is a plus one for us today. Um, if I remember this stage correctly from my season with Euskaltel, the finish is a hilly sprint, so we'll, we'll see if we can do anything, I don't believe we will, uh, but you never know. Um, also quite interesting, so you see that uh, I'm rocking the Kubeka jersey, which is going to be the final season with them, as they are most likely closing, both in real life uh, and for sure on, on my save, going into season 4, because yes, there shall be a season 4. We're closing in on the uh, finish of the stage, we're actually um, already on the final circuit. This is the uh, finish that we'll see in, uh, in 11 kilometers. Carlos Rodriguez, oh, Christian Rodriguez? Carlos? I think Carlos, yeah, Carlos Rodriguez. Has attacked with Gregor Mühlberger, that's fair enough. Uh, but we're just going to chill here. And hopefully, the person is going to come back on the two attackers, uh, which would then allow me to potentially go for a stateway. Castro Viro goes. Uri Sagan for... is it Uri? No, that's actually Peter Sagan. I was like, it's weird to know that Uri Sagan would still be there, uh, competitively speaking, but then why would Peter attack? But Peter attacks again, following Martin Tuzvelt. Uh, we've got Standewulf, we've got Rodriguez, Higuita, Andre Amador. Quite a lot of, uh, of good names in the bunch. We're gonna go now, uh, which is way, 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 way too early. Um, although despite all the corners, it might actually be too late. It's a win for Thomas Peters today, ahead of Peter Sagan, Stan de Wulf, Richard Carapaz, and myself in P5. I mean, you needed to be a decent sprinter or have decent acceleration. I have none. It's a sprint stage today between um, Onya and Berolano. Uh, hold up. Belorano. Um, with a downhill finish. Now, historically, the pattern isn't exactly the best when it comes to, his, to, to downhill finishes. So I'll try and, uh, and maximize my potential chances here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm going to win the stage. Uh, if I can have a decent result, maybe get like a bonus second could be ideal. Uh, knowing that Richard Carapaz is there and we do have two mountain sages coming up. And Richard, ah, he's got 88 fitness. That's fair enough. Richie Port, he's got 98 fitness. That's a bit more of a worry. Uh, Brenna is not the leader of the SM. That would be Romain Bardet. Romain, 87, dead. And that's basically all there is on this, uh, on this start list. Seven kilometers remaining. Uh, we're going to try and catch Oyar Lashkano, who is the uh, sole rider in the breakaway. Uh, he had a gap of like 10 minutes, I think, after the uh, Partido de Busto. Uh, and then he exploded, which is, uh, which is disappointing for, uh, for the Spaniard. But I'm going to increase the rhythm. Um, the, the key portion, I think, is the second uphill bar. I think that's where I need to be well placed. Although the sprint might have already been launched at that point. Uh, hold up. Uh, yeah, no, I think, I think that's what I need to do well. I think that's what I'm going to have to do well. Sadly, I'm going to get boxed in here. I'm going to get boxed in. We're going to try and launch the sprint early. I know it's 1.5k. I've used half the red. Can we hold on until the line? Come on, 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 hermano. Come on, vamos. And we're going to get beaten back later second. For fuck's sake. No. Wait, what? Wait, eh? Say what now? All right, so I'm sprinting. I'm way ahead of Peter Sagan. Peter comes back, comes back, comes back. Now, 
All right, hold on. Well, I'll see. I, 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 I don't know how I want this. Also, you know what? I'm going to make a video around the month of December with every single thing you want to see in PCM 2022. One of the things I want to see is being able to go frame by frame on the replay or like have a times times half on the replay because it's so infuriating to be to, to miss the moment you want to see on the replay but it's a win for us and with that uh, we're going to be through the gc of the Vuelta Burgos. sadly sadly it's a minus one today as uh will attempt to uh dominate the pico blanco um thankfully i guess it's a calm i know it's a climb I know, um, but yeah, I'm not, not looking forward here to, uh, to this. Richard does have minus three. Now that's good. <laughs> that's much better. I feel much, much, much more, much more confident. Uh, how about Richard? Ah, for fuck's sake, Richard. And we've got an issue in the team as Simon Clark just crashed. Uh, he was protecting me. I'm quite, uh, quite sad that uh, he eated his body across the ground. Gap with the breakaway, but it is just on two minutes now. Indeed it is. Uh, we've got a four-man group at the front. Let's take a quick look at the, the four riders. We've got Jan Fratnik, François Bidar, Marco Canola, and Angel Fuentes. Uh, Juan Lopez Cosar just got dropped as Jan Fratnik. Uh, tags, I'm gonna guess, for the, um, the intermediate sprint. Don't exactly know what's the plan, but uh, we, we, we stand. Uh, Roger, can you please stay in my wheel? Por favor. Um, but, yeah. Uh, we've got 31k to go. We're living the dream. We've got energy. Uh, I'm just very much scared of Ineos. 10k to go. It's gonna be time. It's gonna be time to start our, um, our, our offensive. So at least be at the front of the peloton as we start Picon Blanco. You can see Thomas Pitcock already very high. Um, obviously working for hopefully Carapaz. Most likely Richie Porto if we're being logical. Although it is PCM, the logical isn't exactly um, the, uh, the, the part of vocabulary I would use. I'm seeing a strong uh, present from Jumbo Vesna. Was that for like George Bennett? Oh yeah, it is for George Bennett. George Bennett with a good day today. 99 fitness with a plus two. Okay. Oh, Chun I think is there. Oh boy, Chun. 95 fitness, come on. Get in there. Um, we're going to catch the breakaway slowly but surely. Um, Rohadri, I got blocked by Ron Dennis. You're a dickhead, Ron. Five kilometers. Five kilometers, um, Rohadri is going to try uh, and get the front of the peloton. We said goodbye to Santiago Umba. Next up on the road is going to be Jonathan Lastra, our former teammate, and we're going to reel him in with 4k to go, I believe. Didn't we win last year, the Picon Blanco with Euskaltel? I think we may have done, you know. I think we may have won our final races with Euskaltel on the Vuelta a Burgos. And sadly, it will not be a back-to-back -back for the Basque team, as their former rider is going to overtake them. And actually has overtaken them. We're going to ask uh, Roher to transcend himself. 17 riders left. In the first group, you can see here, Richard Carapaz is living the dream. Is Richie Port here? Richie is not here. Okay, I, I don't, I really don't understand the tactics of Ineos. Roman Barlet is still here, struggling, but he is out here. Thomas Pitcock, to be fair. I didn't, oh yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, my, my apologies, Thomas. I didn't want to, uh, to jinx the lad, but apparently I did. We're going to increase the rhythm even more. Roger Adria is going to try not to block me. We're going to up the rhythm to 88, Carapaz, Barde, oh, it's done, Barde's done. It's going to be between Carapaz, myself, and George Bennett. 800 meters to go, Richard Carapaz will not hold on, neither will George Bennett, and it's going to be a win at the Picon Blanco for Dieu Moitié, back to back for the rider from Kubelk and Nextash. Vamonos, vamonos, vamonos. 22 seconds on George Bennett and Richard Carapaz. Um, Sergio Iguita was there, I didn't know that. Uh, Christian Rodriguez, Bardero, Adria, Haritz Carmona, Rubin Guerrero, and Sergio Semiche to wrap up the top 10. Richie Paul got 15th. You know, so you've really messed that up, haven't you? Sprint stage today, uh, and it is a plus two. I mean, we've already won one sprint stage uh, on this uh, Vuelta a Burgos. Could we potentially um, reiterate that? Yeah, no, we can't. Five minutes later. Uh... <laughs> so, I was in times eight. <laughs> and I forgot to sprint. Actually, uh, I forgot the stage. What? 
Last time I checked, I was at the IS of Carrera Ruega, and I can't replay this. Fuck. Uh, I what happened? <laughs> uh, that's fun. Oh, we we love that. Uh, right. So I'm not here. Pitters, 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 pitters. Yeah, pitters. Cool. All right. We're gonna be on the way for the final stage of uh of this Vuelta a Burgos. Uh, we've got a plus one today, which is cool. Um, history gets a stage I struggle to win because there's often a breakaway. Uh, that wins here the uh at Lagunas de Neila. So I'm gonna guess the the lakes of Ne. No way, no, because that's Lagos. Uh, what's what's smaller than the lake? The pond? Yeah, but that can't be the pond of Neila. Hmm. Hold up. Right. I'm I'm convinced. G Google is listening to me somehow. Most likely through my phone, uh, because when I said Lagunas de Neila about 15 seconds ago, something like that, uh, and I typed the, the letters L, A, and G in the Google search bar to, to know what like Lagunas de Neila means. Um, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's many things that could come up when you type lag. The first one should not be Lagunas de Neila. Uh, but thanks, Google, for helping me out, listening on my conversations. But that's, that's kind of you. Uh, but it's it's a it's a natural reserve. Uh, it it looks kind of pang. So hopefully we can win there. Uh, although I don't exactly see how I'm gonna do so uh, with a breakaway already at the front with the likes of Jan Hatnik and <laughs> I got through the song. Cool. Right, I'm trying to pace with um, Umba Brown Sunderland and uh, and now heading into the um, Laguna Zanela because the gap is three and a half minutes. So I feel like the breakaway is gonna win. So yeah, if I, if I could have like paced uh, to prevent them from winning, it would have been great. Sadly, I feel like we're not going to get the third win I was looking for in this Vuelta. Simon Clark is going to pace with uh, 7k to go as Higuita attacks. Samiche, Bardet, Lastran, Rodriguez follows. Richie Porte is there, so is Thomas Peters. Uh, Richard Carapaz, I'm going to guess is in my world. Yeah, there he is. Uh, okay, 255. Going to increase the rhythm even more with Clark, but Souza doing a great, great job right now. Now, I had said at the beginning that uh, my aim was to get 43 wins comes the end of the episode. Um, hoping, or I mean, thinking I would win Pico Blanco and Laguna Zanela. I don't think I'm going to win today. But I did win the sprint stage. Uh, and if we added the GC, because I don't feel like I'm going to lose the GC, I think we're, we're in good good position to um, reach the objective I had set myself at the very beginning of the stage. Or of the video, should I say. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try and first catch Romain Barlet, who decided to attack because, I don't know, probably thinks it's funny. Who's ahead? Well, we've got Fulsang and Jan Tratnik, the riders from Hydra and from, uh, sorry, Hydro. <laughs> Hydra is uh, much different. Uh, and we've got, uh, as I said, Jan Tratnik for Bayern McLaren. Or Bayern Victorious, or Bayern, whatever the fuck it is now. Um, but, alright, yeah. Um, we're going to cruise, end up in this group. And most likely have fun uh, on the podium celebration, just, you know, whipping out the champagne and that. Because I'm a winner. Carapaz is going to beat me. Richard! Oh, wait, no, he's not. He's not. Houston wins. Kratnik, myself. Carapaz, Elosegi, and uh, some other names such as Hein, Iguita, Ituria, Rodriguez, and Roma Valle to wrap up the top 10 today. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, it's, a, it's a Danish win today in Laguna Zanella. Uh, Fully song ahead of Tratnik and uh, myself. Actually, a uh, funny story. That's the second time I've played this stage today because I recorded it. So, you know, I, I recorded stage four, but I forgot to play it. So I played stage five, but I forgot to record it or to, to have my mic on. Uh, I had finished fourth. It was a win of Madrazo ahead of Elosegi and Jan Tratnik. Fully song was in the breakaway and had been dropped with 5k to go. So it's cool to see that. I mean, Elosegi got fifth, uh, Ituria got eighth, Tratnik got second, and Fulsang got first. So there's like some sort of um, correlation or continuity. I, I don't know. Uh, but we win the GC ahead of Carapaz and Iguita. It was Iguita ahead of Carapaz in the previous one. Uh, we still ended up winning points. Uh, we don't win Mountain. We're the best on Grada. And we're still not the best team. Get in there. Was, uh, was Santiago Umbat still this shit? Uh, oh, he's even worse. Brilliant. This, nevertheless, is where we're going to wrap up the episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't, please do leave a like down below. The next episode will be the start of the Vuelta. As you can see, we are 8 points away from level 27, sorry, from level 28, which is an attribute um, evolution. So hopefully we can uh, increase our chances of doing well on the Spanish Grand Tour. We've got no tiredness, excellent fitness, no fitness peak, 
has been activated yet, but I'm hoping to activate it towards the 21st so that I can have the fitness peak for the two uh, mountain weeks. We'll also have um, some information regarding our next contract for season four. Kubeka is closing. Our pro cyclist isn't. As I said, if you've enjoyed the video, then please, please do leave a like down below. It means a lot. I can't be as active um, or as responsive as I used to be. Uh, but just seeing that you guys are still liking the series and like um, leaving nice messages in the chat or in the comments, or even if you say I'm clapped, it's fine. Uh, it just it just warms my heart. So for that, thank you. If you're new to the channel, I want to see more of my content in the coming weeks, and do subscribe if you haven't done so already. But I will see you in the very near future. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on, girl.